the first thing I want to do is to ensure your units uh, in AutoCAD is um, set properly. Uh, for now, I want to work with uh, millimeters and um, precision to 0, 0.0. Uh, I think this is okay for me. And so I will go ahead and just create a rectangle first of all. And um, in the rectangle, I want to make it um, 1000 by 1000 millimeters. So this is like one meter by one meter box. And then this box is okay for me. The next thing I want to do is to place a hatch in it. So um, if you click on the hatch, it just goes straight to this one. But the shortcut, what I want to do is you can use HPDL. Once you type it, you see this HPDL mode, select it, change it from zero to one and click enter. Once you do that, once you click on the hatch icon, it's going to take you into the edit mode directly. Once you are here, you want to change this to custom and under custom pattern, you want to be able to select this. If you click on this icon, you go to custom. You are supposed to see uh, all the custom patterns you have on your system on one condition, on the condition that they are exactly where they are supposed to be on the condition that you copy them and paste them here right here in the under your document not inside the folder in your document under your document so i'm going to give you an example i have um a folder here called hatch patterns so if i open it and i just copy like let's say um three random hatch and then directly on that document not in any folder and i paste these three random hatch patterns um, if I cancel and I come back to custom and click on this, you are going to see those three random hatch patterns I just selected. And so this is how you are able to get the patterns. Once you get them, you click on OK. And once you click on OK, uh, you can scale them, you can rotate the angles depending on um, stuff like that. The next thing is to select add pick point and um, select this point and click enter and I'll click OK and you will see the scale. Now this scale is really too small. So double click on it and on that scale here you can increase it let's say to 10. You can see the size because this is one meter by one meter so you know what size you are expecting for your hatch pattern. So you can easily adjust the scale um, accordingly to what you think would be okay. So I'm just going to leave this at 10. And basically that's that. So I can close the hatch. So I'm going to go ahead, select this and export it to Revit. So I'm going to select this um, W. Um, so I, I can export it as a block. And then um, in millimeters, I can just save it to my desktop as new block. Uh, depending on your Revit, you should save it always as a lower version so that. So once I'm in Revit, I'm going to go ahead and import the AutoCAD file. I'll go to insert. Then if I'll click on import card. And for my desktop, I'll select this. I just want to set it manual to center so that I can easily get a hold of it. The level and everything should be set. Click. Once we have it in Revit, we can just click on Explode. It explodes it explodes into two. One is the field pattern. The other one is just the text. So if I expand this now, uh, all around here, you discover that the field pattern came in uh, exactly the way we wanted it. The only challenge we have here now is the import scale because we can't really see anything until we zoom in very neatly. And if you are printing your floor plan this way, you may not be able to see um, anything. So what do you do? You can play around with the scale. You can select it, click on edit. And um, under this uh, model pattern, click on edit here. And import scale is normally one. If you increase it by two, it doubles. If you increase it by four, depending on the scale. So let me just start little by increasing it by two and then clicking on OK, OK, and um, apply, then OK. Then you can see uh, what I've done. You can also use this pattern on your materials. So the imported pattern is already there. If I select it, click on Edit Type, click on Edit, click on um, Edit here to get into the materials tab. If I come to the surface pattern here and go to model because I imported that um, pattern on that model, the name is new block. If I type on new, you see it here. You can click OK, click OK, click OK, click OK, and you would see the pattern already on this wall. And the good thing about this pattern, 
that is on this wall because it's a model pattern you can use the align tool click on an edge and click on anywhere in this pattern let me say i want it to end here and you can move this pattern exactly where you want it to end so with this i've been able to apply patterns um uh different patterns on materials you can also be able to move the patterns and align the patterns properly so i hope you enjoyed this video please like share subscribe see you in the next video peace